What's going on guys? It's Daniel. Welcome to my Auto Club 400 review. Um, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that happened in the race. I'm not going to go through what happened because I've done this three times already and I'm, I can't think for myself. Um, let's just talk about some things that did happen in this race. Um, Kyle Busch has done it. He has his 200th career NASCAR win altogether. Yeah, uh, huge congratulations to uh, Kyle Busch on scoring his 200th win in NASCAR. Um, I know that a lot of girls say, oh, it doesn't deserve us, not as good respect. But I'm going to say, by the way, Richard Petty's stats are more incredible than Kyle Busch's. Don't at me. Because there's no comparison in that situation. But Kyle Busch has won his 200th career NASCAR race. Um, things that did happen in this race, pretty much... Um, you had a bunch, some guys had tire issues. You had Austin Dillon have an issue early in the race. He fell back. Uh, Daniel Hemrick, and all another, also another RCR driver, he had a tire issue in this race. He fell, he fell back pretty far as well. He never really recovered because the, the car got way more damage. He had to come back down and pay road. Uh, Clint Boyer had a valve issue. Yeah, his car never really, never really worked today. Um, Kyle Busch had to come back from a speeding penalty after the end of stage two, which, by the way, he won the first two stages of this race. Um, Kyle Busch basically um, did him do boo boo. Same with Denny Hamlin, who actually I think had a really good car today. Um, Denny Hamlin did an excellent job, to say at the least. But he had to come back, and he didn't win though, because like I said, I already said Kyle Busch won. I know I'm doing this review a little bit different today. Um, but I've filmed this a few times, and I can't even think, I don't even have the results on the screen. I can't, don't remember everything that happened. Uh, Bubba Wallace had a tire go down late in the race. That kind of sucked. <laughs> that wasn't fun to watch. Um, yeah, basically this race kind of went decent, kind of nothing, not as much happened in this race. I'm on my, my phone right now, I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm just waiting for race reference to get the race results updated, because like I said, they haven't updated the results. This is the, like I said, this is the fourth time I'm filming this video. I don't, need, I don't like repeating myself, but yeah, and uh, now I'm going to try to talk about the significance. Kyle Busch, like I said, 200 wins. Pretty cool. 53 cup wins, um, only two wins away from beating Rusty Wallace in the all-time uh, wins column. Um, Penske was strong today. They were, they were really quick. Um, they kind of were the fastest cars behind Kyle Busch all day long, Ryan Blaney, uh, Logano and Keselowski. Keselowski had kind of had a bad start in this race, but he came home with a third place finish, which is really good for him. Uh, Logano finished runner up, but you weren't denying Kyle Busch. When Kyle Busch did some incredible moves, I mean, in particular, he just was diving in the corner on some of these these moves that he was making was impressive, especially. And some of these moves today that were made with this package um, were pretty incredible. Now, I guess the racing, I'll say. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, it could have been better, no doubt about that. But the racing itself was okay, to say at the least. Um, we just need to find a way to get some of the, the things kinked out. But um, overall, I'll give this race a 7 out of 10. Um, nothing really too special about it. It could have been definitely better. Uh, that's why I'm excited for 2021. But yeah, I'm not giving, denying this package is bad it's not a bad package it's a, it's a decent package it did it's provided better racing at our club this race has been one of the better races we haven't had a good race here in three years like 2016 because that race was good in 2016 but it was a good race overall um other things that did happen in this race like i said austin dylan had a tire go down ricky Senos jr uh caused a crash that screwed truex and kyle larson they lost their speed uh Aero jones had an incredible save and jimmy johnson got through that as well which I don't know what happened to Johnson's car. He had a top 10 car. Thought he could have got a top 5. Um, he finished like 18th. <laughs> yeah, Hendrick was terrible today. Not a surprise. Um, yeah, that's really everything that happened. I know this was a little bit unformal, and I apologize for not being as formal today, but I just wanted to get this out real quick. Things have been going on in my life that have kind of been not so great. Um... Oh yeah, like I said, Kyle Busch got speed bump. I already said that in this video, but anyhow, um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. My brain's fried, and also, like I said, I'm a, things have been going on in my life personally. I don't want to spend. Do you guys want my now? I want to ask you guys. Do you guys want these videos more formal, and you want them how I've done in previous videos, or do you want these reviews, um, 
unformal, kind of like I'm I'm doing, and just get these out quicker to you guys, because the videos, this video is five minutes long, and would you rather see a video that's longer but more in depth, or would you rather see an unformal video like this one that's only a few minutes long? Let me know in the comments below. But like I said, huge congratulations, Kyle Bush, on winning his 200th race. He's done it, and uh, like I said, congratulations, Kyle Bush. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, when you do, turn notifications on um, this video so you can be notified when a video goes on my channel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for that qualifying video. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. See you guys then.